third symphony of Tchaikovsky is the least known, the least successful, the least played. I have never actually attended the performance of a third symphony in my life. It is very difficult to explain the reason for that because the piece is magnificent. It's unmistakably Tchaikovsky, 35-year-old man with enormous uh, range of expression, fantasy, energy, and beauty. And so when I uh, first uh, decided to conduct the piece, not knowing it, I thought, well, it will be one of these pieces that perhaps is not as important from Tchaikovsky as the other symphonies, the four, five, six, uh, Manfred, also number one and number two. And when I started studying it, I said to myself, it is not so. It is an important Tchaikovsky. And one movement, the third movement, which is, um, which is a slow movement, there Tchaikovsky is at his very best. It is a pleasure for me to come in the morning and say good morning, ladies and gentlemen, because I know that I will see faces that I like to see, and I will hear musicality from them, which I would like to hear. And then we can mix together my ideas about music and theirs. And we already have experienced little results from working together. Brahms' Second Symphony, for example, when I came back uh, several years ago, or the Pathetic of Tchaikovsky, Romeo and Juliet, and when we performed Pathetic here at the closing of the festival in September together with the New World Symphony of Dvorak, uh, that for me was extremely gratifying experience. The main role of classical music is unbelievably important and very difficult because it is no longer occupying the same place in the life of society as it did in 18th century, in the 19th century, early part of the 20th century. In today's world is as important as at any time and I have a feeling that it may be coming even greater because we are facing so much violence so much pain, so much uh, uncertainty, so many questions as to how do we live together on this planet. Classical music addresses this in the way that only music can. So one can never overestimate its importance.